So today I'm going to talk about my first time ever having sex. Hi guys, I'm Yuli from Yuli and Ernesto and today we're going to do something different. Ah! I don't think I've ever told this story to anyone before, so why not tell the internet? But before I get into the story time, if you're a returning guest here, welcome back. And if you're new, please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Ernesto and I post content every Thursday. So before I actually get into the nitty gritty of the sexual encounter, I have to give context to how I got there first. Around 13, 14, I was discovering my sexuality and trying to figure it out. But I knew that I was attracted to guys pretty early on. I used to go on to Yahoo Messenger and a Yahoo Messenger at the time had chat rooms. Some of these chat rooms were adult themed and some of them were gay adult themed chat rooms and I created a fake like email profile Latin boy something something numerical value Latin without the I and then boy spelled B-O-I just to make it like super fun and sexy. Anyways, I would go into these chat rooms and I would talk to all these gay men from God knows where they were. Something that was common back in the day was asking um, ASL. <laughs> I didn't know if I got that right. So I would go on there and I would chat with these guys. It would just be like, you know, dirty talk exchange over Yahoo Messenger and I would usually find it super sexy and I would find, you know, satisfy myself. <laughs> and that's all I did. I just like went on and I chatted with guys and I got off and then I would log off. Um, that was super funny. One day I was chatting with some random guy and I gave him my accurate location and he was like, oh, you're in Sacramento. You should call this number. Like it was some kind of service that you call the number and then it was like guys in your area that wanted to talk. And I was really scared. I mean, I thought that if I called it, there would be like these extreme like charges on the phone bill and I would get in deep shit with my parents and I didn't want that. But I decided to one day risk it and see what it was all about. It was a number where you would kind of like create a po profile through voicemail. Like you would create a message profile. It was kind of like Grinder before Grinder. I would talk to guys in my area and then I would get off and then I would get off the line. And um, I did that for a couple months. I started talking to this guy and it was a little more than just sexual dirty talk. Oh, this guy seems really cool. We ended up exchanging our cell phone numbers and we started texting and calling each other, but we never saw each other. But after months of talking to him over the phone, I wanted to meet him. One random day he parked in front of my house. It was super late at night. Everyone was asleep. I snuck out and I got into his car and we just kind of like saw each other in person and started chatting with each other in the car and um, we kissed and that was it. And then I left and I went back inside and went to school the next day. <laughs> so then after a couple months of doing this like late night sneak out of the house routine. We wanted to see each other during the day. So one day, like a Saturday, I think I told my parents that I was gonna study at a friend's house and I ended up going to this park and meeting him. And uh, he said that he lived really close to the park and if I wanted to go back to his apartment to like hang out with him there. And I said yes. So we ended up going to his apartment and that's that's the day it happened. He was giving me a tour of his apartment and we ended up like going into his bedroom and uh, um, we started like making out. Things started to get a little hot and heavy and the, the, the only thing I remember really thinking in the moment was, oh my God, am I about to have sex? That's it. I don't remember thinking anything like, oh my God, I don't want to have sex or, oh my God, I like, yes, I'm excited to have sex. Oh, are we about to have sex? Is this about to happen? And then it did, it did happen. And I don't like, 
and I don't want to get too specific, and partly because I don't remember the specifics. The next thing I really remember was waking up the next day and going to school, and I remember walking down the hallway and thinking, everyone knows. I mean, of course no one knew, no one, no one actually knew, but I felt like everyone was staring at me, and they were looking at me differently and talking to me differently and I was like, oh my god, everyone knows, they can just tell. They can just tell that I've had sex. It's really interesting because I was 15 at the time and the um, other guy was in his 20s. And so people will ask me a lot of the time if I regret doing it. And to be honest, in the moment, I didn't regret it. I don't think that in the moment I felt like I was being taken advantage of. I just kind of felt like it all sort of happened to me very quickly. But as I got older and as I'm older now and I look back, I I feel like I wish that he would have had the foresight to know that I was too young. I wish that there was more of a conversation or at least had more of a decision in the making process foresight to know that I was too young but in the moment it all happened so quickly and I was just enamored by him at the time that I didn't really think about it so then a year later I then had sex with a girl hold up wait a minute something ain't right I did meet this girl at my high school ended up being together for three years and we had sex together as well when I think I was either 16 or 17. Like I lit like a, a fire log in our chimney. It was just us two. And it was just very like movie style teens having sex. And everyone gets really um, intrigued by this part of the story. They think it's weird. Usually for some people, once a gay guy has sex with a guy they like oh yeah this is what I like and they know but I was still exploring and I was still like open and fluid and figuring things out but but yeah that is that is my experience first time having sex with a man and first time having sex with a woman and both were different at least for me it was messy and weird and amazing and confusing and I think ultimately at the end of the day it only happens once looking back at my first experience when I was 15 although I don't think about it every day and it doesn't torment me and it doesn't like it didn't ruin my life to have sex so young I do think that I would tell my 15 year old self that like hey like maybe you should wait and not rush into something so quickly so that's my first time i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you back next thursday